Hey guys, I just wanted to go over a new strategy that you need to implement as soon as possible to keep your site from getting penalized or just hurt overall in your Google or other search engine rankings. Keyword targeting is becoming less effective and really it's it's just a matter of tweaking a few approaches towards it that'll you know put you back on top and keep your website um, going up in the rankings. Uh, what you need to do is just you know get something, take a few notes on this video because I'm going to go over this whole thing in a few minutes and um, try to just get down to what you need to know right away and not you know waste too much of your time. So get ready, get a pen and paper, whatever, and um, pay close attention. Uh, this has helped me you know go up millions of spots in this last month and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get, you know, page one rankings, you know, more and more consistently uh, once I understood this. What you need to know is keyword targeting by itself is changing drastically. Um, Google's new updates, you know, Penguin, Panda, whatever they want to call it, I don't even know anymore. They are changing the way, you know, you get ranked and how keywords work now. You know, used to, you could just bold the word and that have it in the title, your keyword phrase. Let's say I was doing, you know, keyword targeting was my little keyword phrase I researched in my Google AdWords keyword tool. And, um, you know, you bold it, you know, you'd italicize it somewhere and you need underline it somewhere and then you probably use it as a URL and then all that type of crap, you know, and then, you know, it just doesn't work that way anymore. All that is is like spamming, that's like trying to just impress, you know, the um, search engines instead of actually writing it for the people. This is becoming way more user-based. You need to focus more on key topics, not keywords. Keywords are not going to get you anywhere anymore. This is 2013, you know, these things have changed, you know, maybe last year it worked, maybe the previous 10 years it worked, but this doesn't work anymore. you got to understand this. So I want to say it again. Key topics, not keywords. So let's say we're talking about keyword targeting, okay. Um, instead of bowling, italicizing, all that crap, like I said here, it doesn't work anymore. What you need to do is write it for the people, make it easily you know, legible. People can read it, people can relate to it, people can understand it. Don't make it obvious to, you know, search engines and people that you are trying to just get on page one, that's all you care about. It's not just about that anymore. You have to do white hat methods. If you don't know the difference between white hat and black hat, here you go. There's a little chart on this blog. I won't spend a lot of time on this. But, um, you need to get something in the title that is a good topic, you know, you can still use the AdWords keyword tool, figure out something that's low competition, pretty high searches, you know, a few thousand searches a month, maybe, you know, go in there and see, you know, who's on the top rankings and, and uh, on page one on Google's results, see how you compare to them. I would even recommend getting the Alexa toolbar, which goes up in the top corner of your um, Google Chrome or Firefox browser, it'll tell you the, you know, the Alexa rank of the entire world internet for each site you go on. You can kind of compare yours and to others to see kind of how your authority is doing compared to theirs. You know, choose low competition, you know, medium to high search volume. Um, as far as the topic, what you need to put in your content is more like synonyms, you know, words that relate, you know, plural forms of your topic, you know, um, words that relate to your topic, you know, um, things like that, okay, let's say, you know, let's say I was doing one about uh, blogging, okay, let's say my keyword phrase has something to do with blogging. It could be blogging, blog, blogger, blogs, you know, 
all these different forms of the word throughout and you know use related you know solid um, links to other sites you know internal links and all that to to your other pages and uh, you need to use words that are just related to it like blocking say something about writing say something about uh, you know site rankings SEO just stuff that's related to your topic is what you need to do. Use it throughout. Don't have a bunch of crap and opinions in your blog posts or um, pages. You know, it's not going to work. You need to have rich, just informative, problem solving, whatever content that just makes people want to read more and pay close attention to every single word that's on the page. That is how you, you know, get ranked. Key topics, not keywords. Stop spamming crap. Don't do any of these black hat methods. They don't work anymore. If they are working for you right now, they won't in the next year. I guarantee it. It's not the way Google is going now. Other search engines will probably follow Bing, Yahoo. You know, they're probably going to copy Google's algorithms a little bit more in the future and try to get rid of this low quality content. Go for the topic. Use a specific topic that you can rank for, but instead of bolding that same phrase and using the same phrase over and over and over again, making it you know, hardly legible for people that want to read. Um, you got to use synonyms, you know, other forms of the word, related word, words of that topic. Keep it on topic, do not go off. And if you do go off in some links, make sure you do rel equals no follow, you know. Um, and that's basically it. That's exactly what you need to know. Stop keyword targeting. Specific keywords just do not work anymore. You know, these things are great, but you can't just use the same exact um, keyword or words every single time. Okay, so you know, mix it up a little bit. You know, use some diversity, but keep it on topic. Keep it very similar to your topic. And you'll be fine, you know, you'll see a lot of results from it. And so just keep that in mind and you'll be fine. Um, have a good one and I'll have more videos coming up soon. Thanks.